So my name is John Hash. I work at UC Riverside as a graduate student, finishing up my third year. Uh, been working on forward flies now for almost five years. Started off with uh, molecular systematics, did my ma master's degree for two years, and then wanted to switch over and started doing more behavior, uh, morphology, and taxonomy. So in the field, I'm using somewhat specialized techniques to find parasitic forward flies. Specifically, I'm working on the genus Myriophora. They're parasitoids of millipedes, and they appear to be attracted to the defensive compounds that are secreted by the millipedes. So my specialized technique is to go out, find the millipedes, and then I have to distress the millipedes to cause them to release their defensive compounds. And then from there, it attracts the parasitoids, and then I aspirate or collect the, the parasitoids from there. Within Diptera, I work in the family Foridae, and specifically the genus Myriophora. They're found worldwide. Uh, there's probably about 200 species so far, and over half of those occur in the New World tropics. And right now, we're probably up to around 60 species in Costa Rica alone. So a lot of people ask, how do you how do you know it's a new species? Or when you're looking at these things, uh, you know, it, they all look the same to me. Well, after spending hundreds and hundreds of hours looking at these things under the microscope, you find certain structures that are really useful for identifying them. And one of the structures that's useful is the egg-laying structure, or also called the ovipositor. And the females will use this structure. They'll insert it into uh, an opening, some kind of thin membrane in, in the millipede. And from there, they'll deposit their eggs with that structure. So we find in, in a lot of flies, especially parasitoids and parasitic forward flies, that those structures are very important for identifying and classifying species. Flies are a really important part of the ecosystem. Uh, most people think of them as nuisances or decomposers. And in actuality, they're huge decomposers. They uh, are food for lots of other organisms in the food web. And Specifically, the flies that I work on as parasitoids are really important for keeping other insects in control. This is actually my second trip. Uh, I made my first trip here in 2011, and I'm visiting totally new places this time, so it's really exciting. And I'm also down here with a lot of uh, Diptera specialists, so I'm learning a lot. I have got to visit MBO for the first time, which is a fantastic institution. They have a great collection here, a really large collection. Uh, it's the second largest Ford collection I've ever had the privilege of seeing and there's a lot of good material in there that's waiting to be identified and it'd be nice one day if, if uh, an expert or a future expert like myself could have a chance to look through that and, and identify all that material that they have here.